Hello, good evening. Brenda, Roxana, can you hear me? Blanca is right here. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Blanca. Can you hear me well? Yeah. Okay. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling better. Better than yesterday. I'm sleeping. <laughs> uh, okay, but that's 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 uh not a symptom, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a that's normal part of you. <laughs> yes, it's part of me. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, but I'm glad that you're feeling better. I'm glad about that. Yeah. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? Fine. Fine, okay. Do you have a good day? Yes. Good day. And okay. you? I had a good day too. I was uh, working with some students and I had a cup of coffee with my colleagues, so it was a good day. Okay. Do you teach in another schedule? Yes, uh, normally I teach uh, good three. Good evening. Hello, good evening, Lady D. So we normally teach, uh, I normally teach three times a, a, a week. Um, yeah, during the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, in the past, I used to have two classes, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, but because of mm -hmm. the changes that we have to make, now it's a little bit different. The same method uh, uh, online? Uh, or... It's a combination of both. Mm -hmm. It's a combination of both. Yeah, but normally uh, I used to work uh, in person like all the classes all the activities were in person now it's a little bit different Ooh, okay um what um what is more difficult teaching english it's more difficult teaching online that's for sure mm -hmm. yeah it's uh, i i remember that you good evening you say hello that, good evening uh, you teaching in Academia Europea? Um, yeah, I th that was my first job as an English teacher, but that oh, was really? in 2008. That was a long mm -hmm. time ago, yes. Yeah. Uh, in San Miguel, obviously. Yeah, in all the Eastern area, all the Eastern mm -hmm. zone. Ooh, okay. I see in San Salvador some <laughs> hey Sorry. teacher, tomorrow I'm, I'm going I'm going to San Miguel. Really? Yeah. Why is that? I have to visit uh I have to visit a customer. Oh, okay, okay. Where in San Miguel? Yeah. Uh, I don't know where it is, but <laughs> but it's in um I don't know how to say funeraria, Guatemala. <laughs> Okay, okay. So yeah. uh, that is downtown. Where uh, exactly? 
if it is the main, uh, let's say the headquarters uh, uh, of the Guatemala, it's from the Roosevelt, there is a gas station that it's called the Uno gas station. Uh, In the China house. After, after that. After, yes. So there, oh. you, will, you will make a left all the way down, uh -huh. like one, two blocks. Near, near the two park, blocks, I think. Really, teacher? Two blocks, and then you get there. In, it's, uh, you will see it in the corner on the left. So two blocks yeah, down, gonna, and then you I, will get there. I'm going to take a, a taxi. <laughs> well, actually, it's three blocks <laughs> down. Yeah, three blocks down. Yeah, you get, get, you, you get, get uh, lost. <laughs> Actually, you can use Uber if you want, but yeah. Um, the the taxis, I, I know the taxis uh, have the the cost of three dollars, but yeah, I don't know. Maximum, <laughs> maximum three. Yeah, yeah. From the okay. place that you're going, actually, from the place that you're going to get off to the place that you're going, it, they should charge you just two dollars because it's not too far. But really, yeah, I when do. I went uh, before, when I went to San Miguel, mm -hmm. uh, they always, uh, I don't know how to say, cobraban. charged, I, they always charge three dollars to Metro Centro. Ah, to Metro Centro uh, is more now. It's probably four dollars. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, but where you're going, I think it's uh, it might be just two dollars. But as you are coming from the Salvador, they will charge you three. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. I'm going okay. to to know that that place in in San Miguel tomorrow. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, hope that everything goes well. Right now, uh, we're going to get started. Now, the majority of you are here. Welcome, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here one more time. Thank God. Uh, the, I think almost everybody's here right now. They're just missing a couple of students. Uh, there's someone who's driving home and another, and another one who's working. So we will try to give them some time, right? So they can join us. So I'm going to take the attendance quickly and you just say present here, here I am. Okay, so we start with Beatriz. Yeah. Mariela. Present. Okay, thank you. We continue with uh, Blanca. I'm here. Brenda. We lost contact with her. Let's go on, go on with Diana. Lady D. Lady I'm D. I'm here. Okay, <laughs> Diego. I'm here. Floor is driving. She told me about that. Uh, Francisco. Present. Freddy's. I'm here, teacher. Laura. Uh, Jackie. Present. Harvin. Present, teacher. Jennifer. Juan Jose. I am here, teacher. Gustavo is uh, trying to get connected. Okay, we'll continue with Miguel. Roberto Fabio. Not here yet. Rolando. And Yanari is next. Yes, teacher. Okay, Roxana. Present teacher. Elizabeth and Suleyma. Okay, now we're going to move on. Uh, Miguel, you arrived right on time again. I just took the attendance, so it's good that you're here. 
ready to start with today's class. So I was thinking about what to call Wednesday because we already have the other days, right? With a specific name, with a special name. So I decided that Wednesday is Crazy going to- Crazy Wednesday. No, it has to be one word that starts with the W. So it's going to be writing and reading Wednesday. So because those are two of the those are two of the things that you don't do too much in English. Okay, writing and reading. So um, I am going to be thinking about activities where you can practice both or one of the two skills. Okay, on Wednesdays. So we already have the week, uh, the complete week, right? So motivation Monday, uh, talking Tuesday, writing and reading Wednesday, uh, trivia Thursday, and fun Friday. So we have the five days of the week ready. Let's see somebody wrote in the chat. Okay, yeah, Elizabeth is still working. <clears throat> let's go on the show must go on so guys um welcome one more time to the session number 10 we are finishing the week number two out of the five weeks that means that by today you have to be done with the first two activities and the midterm right on the platform so that's for uh this week tomorrow we start with the week number three session 11 so it is important right that you are connected that you are participating that you're learning and by the end of the course you have all the required uh aspects okay for um getting your certificate for moving on to the next level so that is really really important okay so let's begin what do we what did we study or what did we do yesterday? What do you remember from yesterday's class? Can I get some volunteers? For some reason, I think my students are busy today because I only see four people with the cameras on. So Just I Just give me 10 minutes to finish my dinner, please. Bon appetit, Diana. Okay, now I see Freddy's in Los Angeles. I think it's, yeah, Los Angeles. Is that an aquarium? Oh, no, it's a TV that you have behind you, Blanca. I thought it was an aquarium. <laughs> okay, so BTS videos. Okay, Juan Jose that is, is there. That is because I don't have a, a background like you. Uh, you are from your phone. Okay, okay. I think it's not possible to uh, settle or set up. Um, a background from the cell phone. I think it's not possible. I, I always connect from my computer, so I don't know. And um, well, what do you remember from yesterday's class? What did we do? Tell me. Tell me you remember something. <laughs> I remember that we are talking about uh, why do uh, we think it's necessary to test product before mm -hmm. they are released to make it. Yeah. Um, and I was uh, talking about with Freddy uh, that in um, where I work, for example, building, uh, we need to uh, realize this uh, um, for the sand, for the gravel, for the concrete, for the steel, um, many, many tools in the in area about uh, built. But it's not only, it's many, many activities that we uh, impose in, a, in the UFA, in, in, a, in the university. We mm -hmm. make many, many tests in many activities. Wow. Okay. So you are an expert in testing. That's good. Um, actually, we're going to use some of that experience. Okay. We're going to use some of that experience and activities that we're planning today. Uh, who else? Who else will remember, remember something? Uh, Juan Jose already mentioned that we talked about the importance of testing a product, right? So we were discussing some questions about that. I remember that uh, Diego and I, we talked about, um, 
for uh, for start the for example a business for the delivery service mm -hmm. for all person uh, maybe mm, we talk uh, about uh, if if I have the enough money for for the start the business, um, maybe what is the most important for for the start uh, a business? Maybe can can do the the brand um, um, tools. Um, maybe right. have have the, the motivation 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 no. yeah the motivation, motivation. or the money <laughs> as well yeah. that's also also is another motivation okay yeah. Rolando and Laura welcome uh, to the jungle no I'm just kidding welcome to the class now we're going <laughs> to you, okay good evening good evening. Now we're going to go on. Uh, we talk about that. Yeah, that's for sure. And we also practice the conversation, right? Between uh, Alejandro and his father. Okay, so they were discussing about the testing, right? The new Papa sandwich. And they decided that the best method was the monadic and the best um, test they could use was the sight and handling right side and handling we practice pronunciation we focus on pronunciation yesterday and as it was uh, talking tuesday we had different like, moments to practice speaking right so now we're going to go on and um as today is writing and reading um wednesday which do you want to practice first writing or reading Give me your opinion. Raise your hand if you would like to start with reading and use a reaction if you want to start with writing. Raise your hand if you want to start with reading and use a reaction if you want to start with writing. Okay, so I see two hands, two reactions. Okay, three reactions and three hands. Wow, this is going to be tight. Okay, uh, three, four, five hands, five reactions. My goodness, this is going to be complicated. Okay, um, so as we have the same number of people using our reaction and the hand, I will have to make a decision. And well, I am going to start with reading, okay? I'm going to start with reading, what? You should throw a coin and say heads or tails. Heads or tails. Oh, yeah. But I don't have a coin here. Let me check. Oh, yeah. I have one here. I will use a little penny. So um, head will be for writing and tail will be for reading. Okay. And that would be tails. So reading goes is a winner. So that was destiny. Okay. I swear I, I got tails, but probably you cannot see it. Uh, yeah, there it is. Now, uh, so for reading, I am going to uh, send you a, a code, okay, for you to register in one uh, site. Okay. So what you... I'm not sure what information they are going to ask you, but um, probably will be your name, maybe an email and take notes, right? Take notes about your username, the information that they give you there. So um, I need you to enter, well, the code is this one that I'm sharing with you and the website that you're going to use to register is the following wait a second
Okay, wait up, wait up, wait up. I need you to go to this website. Okay, that is a website. You can see it right there in the chat. So uh, what you're going to do is to go to the website and click sign up. So when you sign up with the code, you enter the code and automatically you will join the class that I created, okay? For you, the, the name of the class is Intermediate English 2. So um, over there, you are going to, I'm going to explain you what you're going to do, okay? So please um, go to the website. What is the name, teacher? The name of the website. It's okay. I, I share no. with you the link. Okay, click the, username. the link. Yeah, but the username. I have to put a username. Okay, a so the username is just your or a class code. A class code. Yeah, you will use the code that I share with you in the chat. I'm going to send it again. Okay. Okay. That is a code. The username you you decided, right? Brenda, Blanca, the name the name that that you like, right? Uh, and one last name. It can be just Gustavo Asensio, right? Or uh, Juan Jose, Francisco Villacorta. That can be your username. And you access with the code. Okay, so automatically, I I have I want to see that you are joining the class. So far, I don't have any new students. I have a question. Uh -huh. What is the question? Do we have to put um, sign up? Sign up, uh -huh, and then you use a code. Okay, free access to all materials, please. Enter Sign up. You sign up and With then you student. as a student, right? As a student, uh huh. And then username, for example, I'm going to create one. Are you going to be Freddy? Don't use your real name. Um, well, I will use it, Freddy. Okay, Freddy. Freddy Mars. That would be my 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 username, Freddy Mars. Uh, password, a password that you don't forget, okay? So maybe um, to remember it easily, we can say... Uh, the password, the password English, is the same. Maybe uh, the password is the one that you select, okay? But you have to remember your password. password. Yeah, you have to it's remember. The password in every single thing that I open. So the password <laughs> can be, for example, English 2021, right? And that's a password. Then the age is going to be, I don't know, 21 or older. And the class code, you use a code and click sign up. Personal details. Now you use uh, you include your name, Don't know last name, in. and sign up. Not not log in. Sign up. Welcome to Retirement. X. F. I don't know if I'm in. In the class code? Okay. The class code is the one that I shared in the chat. Let me know if you can see it. At the end. Okay, this will take a little time, but once you do it, we will be ready, okay, to start. I'm in teacher or not? Uh, right now I have a, a smiley Diana, teacher. Diana, Fanita, uh -huh, that's you, yeah. I think. 
Jackie, uh, yeah. Harvin, uh, Laura, Piedra, who's Piedra? Cortez, and Freddie Mars, that's me. I can you try. Okay, let me, uh, let me share the screen. I'm going to go to the private setting. Or so, through the WhatsApp. What? Or you can use the WhatsApp. I'm going incognito, right? So I'm going to share the screen right now. So when you enter the website, it looks like this, right? So what you do next is to uh, click over here, sign up, sign yes. up. So you sign up and then select student. The username it will be, for example, um, Emilio. Emilio, that's right, Emilio. Emilio uh, that 12. Okay. So that's my username. And then the password it will be whatever, right? English. And then the age is 21 or older. Ah, it has to have nine digits. So I'm going to use. Okay, then the age, 21 or older, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to select that option. And the class code. So the class code is this one that I share in the chat, right? The same one. B, K, H, Z, Q, X, F, J. And when I have that information, I click sign up. Personal details, okay, Emilio. Tosa, that would be my, and then I select the email optional, uh, 21 or older. I'll do it later. That can be an option, but in your case, you can enter an email and say next, click next. So when you get to this point, okay, that's next. You're going to click, I'm ready. Close. And you're going to start with the reading, okay? Just like that. So you need to complete the first quiz to place yourself in any position. So I'm going to give you 10 minutes to complete the first reading, okay? That is going to be like a diagnostic test to check your level of reading according to the, to the platform, okay? To the, to the website. So that's what you're going to do right now. Uh, let me check how many students I have right now. At the moment, I have Diana, Diego, uh, Blanca, Fredis, Jackie, Harbin, Miguel, Roxana, and Laura. Am I? Um, let me check. Did you follow the same process that I showed? Yes. Mm, no, I don't see you. Did you I enter the, the sorry? Did you share did you enter the code? Yes. Did you click sign up? Yes. Okay, you you will share the screen. I, yes, I I I share the, the screen. This is correct. Mm -hmm. I think so, but I don't I don't see you in the list. So um for some reason. I can to, <coughs> sorry, uh, salir. Log out. Log out, um, maybe try it again. Try it again, uh -huh. don't okay. forget, don't select uh, sign in or log in, select sign up, okay. sign up, okay, good. Okay, so uh, right now you have 10 minutes to complete the reading. This is the website that we're going to be using uh, for you to practice and improve your reading comprehension level. Okay, so we're going to be doing this 
uh, every Wednesday. Of course, you can practice as much as you want. In this in this site, you have the opportunity to take mini quizzes. Every reading is a quiz and you have multiple choice questions. So they give you multiple answers and only one is correct. You read, you answer, you read, you answer, and you go like that, right? And then automatically you are going to have a level of, of reading to start, okay? And you will see your progress. I have used this uh, website for more than three years and it works, it works really well. So students learn a lot of vocabulary, they improve their comprehension and um, they see their progress, they see their progress. Can I show my <clears throat> picture for help me? Okay. Uh, for example, um, I'm going to try my uh, my internet is not so good. I'm going to uh, maybe I am here maybe. <clears throat> and the password here is whatever you want. Okay, uh, um, it's okay there. So I'm here. Sign up as a student. Uh huh. Very good. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. After. Yeah. I the username. The good. Yes. And then and the password. Password. One password that you like. Uh, English 2021. Okay. Something, something that you remember, right? That's important. Then the age will be 21 or older. Uh, the password must be, yeah, and, there you go. And the, uh, here class, uh, the, the code. I'm going to put the- The code ah, that okay, I gave okay. you. Uh -huh. And then you will sign up. Okay. And the age, okay. uh -huh, 21 or older. Good. So okay. that's what you're going to do. Francisco? Uh, yes, I am finished the, the you registered already? Yes, yes. Okay, let me check. I'm not sure if it's showing my, my name. You did the same that um, Juan Jose is doing. Yes, I I shared the, 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 the step in the WhatsApp. I take a picture. You took a picture, okay. Okay, okay, got it. I don't know say. why I can't try it. So if, if some of you have difficulties, don't worry, just send me a message later and I will help you out to create the account. Okay, maybe you have some problems with that. So this is uh, what I wanted to show to you today and uh, I'm going to <clears throat> try to eliminate this. Okay, wait a second. Okay, I have 13 students now. I think it's already uh, updated. So I see uh, Francisco and I see Juan Jose. Excellent. Oh, okay, okay. Somebody's watching TV in English. That's good. Okay, you have five more minutes. 
and then we continue with the next exercise. If you don't finish right now, or if you don't finish in uh, today, you can go on another day, okay? So this is going to help you a lot to improve your reading comprehension. Maybe Brenda is see the soap opera. Maybe in English. She's, she's watching a soap opera in English. We don't know. Now I think that she was driving home. So it's, it's probably not her. Okay, so. Did anybody have problems with the with uh, signing up so that I can help you? I couldn't register, teacher. You couldn't. I couldn't because of uh, the internet or what? Uh, when I click to sign up, uh, nothing's happened. Maybe you are missing some information about the age or uh, let me see. Or the code is not complete, something like that. teacher I have all the information so nothing happened when you click sign up yeah mm. that's weird so maybe you can give me a password and I can create the the the, the user for you okay what will be the username Anonymous. Anonymous. Okay. Yeah. Anonymous. Okay. Anonymous and the password. Biblioteca. Biblioteca. Okay. Anonymous is already taken, so I'm going to say Anonymous 21. So, Biblioteca with uh, lowercase, okay, uh, minuscula, Biblioteca. Okay, next one, uh, list one digit. Ah, okay, one number, Biblioteca 21. Okay, so everything's 21. And then uh, the age is going to be 21 or older and the class code. Okay. Got it. So I already uh, added you to the, I, I created your user. So I'm going to send you a message, Beatrice, uh, with the information. I I finished the first test only. Okay. <laughs> good, good. That's only that I have to do because it appears another test. Well, to have the practice, only that, but to start, you need to finish with the first uh, section. I mean, you need to do as many as possible. Until there will be a moment that it will tell you, okay, that you're that you're done and you start uh, getting a progress. So, uh, perfect. Uh, 
Beatriz, let me know if you can access with the information that I share with you. Anonymous 21, yeah, I can see it now. And we have just one, well, two more minutes. Two more minutes. If you cannot practice today, you can do it uh, later, right? Another day. Nothing happened. Uh, in this case, I'm going, yeah. I'm, go I'm going to, I'm going to, to do a change because I had a mistake. Okay, so you have to click uh, login. Okay. Login because you already have an account, so you have to log in, not sign up. How many questions we need to? Just try to finish at least one reading, okay? Just oh, one reading and that's okay. What happens is that to start observing a progress, you need to finish the pretest. Um, so it is necessary for you to complete all the questions of the pretest. Yeah, but you need more time to do that. So I will uh, recommend you to do that when you have some free time. Maybe you can do it on the weekend, right? Because right now, if I, sh I show you the progress, uh, it will be uh, zero, right? There is nothing. So because nobody has started uh, after the pretest. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like the, the second part of the vegans. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is good. It yes. Is interesting. Uh -huh. Because I know the animals. <laughs> That's right. Yes, teacher, I can. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to get stuck. We're going to move on. I already did the reading. We already did the reading. So please uh complete the pretest. Okay. If you don't complete the pretest, the complete, I mean all of the pretest, you are not going to start watching a progress. So I mean the pretest is mandatory, but after the pretest, you are going to see that you are uh, getting some points and uh, getting the level, right? The levels in the reading. But right now, it's not possible. It will take you around 10 or 15 minutes to complete all the pretests. So I recommend you to do it with some time. Now, I'm going to share the screen because we're going to move on to the reading. Well, after the reading, we go with the writing, but first I have to show you what we're doing. So what are we doing today? We're going to organize a basic plan to run a focus group to test a product. So what is a focus group? That's what I'm going to explain to you today, but not yet. So we go on, we're in session 10. So we're running a focus group conversation. Okay, that's what we're going to do in a moment. So right now I'm going to stop sharing and please have your notebook ready. I am going to dictate to you eight tips to run a successful focus group. Okay, that is the title. That is the name of the reading. Eight top tips for running a successful focus group. I repeat, it's a dictation, right? So you have to write down what I say. So eight top tips, top tips for running a successful for running a successful, in your notebook, right? Uh, write down what I'm saying, a successful focus group. Okay, ready? Number one.
ensure you have clear objectives. Ensure you have clear objectives. That's number one. Ensure you have clear objectives. Okay, you got number one? Yes? Okay, number two. Recruit the right people for you. Recruit the right people for you. Recruit the right people for you. That's the number Recruit. Recruit. Reclutar. Recruit. Next one. Number three, pilot your focus group. Pilot your focus group. Before the real thing. Before the real thing. Real thing. Okay. Pilot your focus group before the real thing. Number three, okay? We'll continue with number four. Create a happy atmosphere. Create a happy atmosphere. Okay. Can you repeat? Number four, create a happy atmosphere. I'm going to repeat only twice, okay? Only two times. Let's go with number five. Keep control of the session. Keep control of the session. Number six, avoid Leading questions. Avoid leading questions. Leading, leading questions. Okay, avoid leading questions. Number six. Number seven. Rope a colleague rope a colleague in a colleague in rope is r o p e rope a colleague in to be your assistant moderator to be your assistant moderator moderator Finally, number eight. Send participants away. Send participants away. Feeling positive about their experience. Feeling positive about their experience. Can you repeat it, the last one, please? Send participants away feeling positive about their experience. Okay, so those are the, the eight uh, su top successful tips to run a focus group, okay? So this is just a little example, right? For um, let's say uh, when you're trying to run a focus group, but in a moment you are going to understand a little bit more about that. Um, because this is something common in businesses. For you, probably it's something new, but later you are going to understand a little bit more what a focus group is for. 
Now I'm going to go go on and ask you what is the step number one or the tip number one. Ensure you have clear objectives. Make sure you have Ensure. clear. Make you sure you have clear objectives. Object. Objectives. Okay. So okay. in this case, make sure is a synonym, but the original word that I said was ensure. 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 Yes, yeah. I said ensure. Ah, I heard you make sure. Okay. So, sure, so I, ensure is okay. I think I was wrong. No, no, no. You're right. Ensure. Okay. But if you say make sure, it's the same meaning, right? <laughs> make sure, okay. ensure. Yeah. Number two, what do you have for number two? Recruit the right people for you. Recruit the right people for you. Yes, that's right. Okay, uh, number three. How do you spell, how do you spell, how do you spell recruit? How do you spell recruit? R-E-C-R-U-I-T. Yes, that's correct. R E C R U I T. Uh, number three, Roxana, can you repeat it, please? Okay. Pilot your focus group before the real team. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So, okay. pilot your focus group before the real thing. Number four, create, uh, create a happy atmosphere. atmosphere. Create a happy atmosphere. Okay, atmosphere. atmosphere. How do you how do you spell atmosphere? A T M O S P A T R A. Yes, A T M O S P H E R E. Atmosphere. Correct. Number five. Control of the session. Keep control. Keep control. Very good. Keep control of the session. Thank you, Blanca and Diego. Number six. Avoid. 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 Leading question. Leading questions. Okay. How do you spell avoid? A-B-O-I-T. I-T. That's right. And number seven. Probe according to be your assistant's mother. Moderator. 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 Rope, yeah, rope a colleague in, right? Rope a colleague in to be your assistant moderator. And last but not least, number eight. Sense are participants feeling positive about their experience. Send participants away feeling positive feeling about, positive about experience. their experience. Their experience. There you go. So that would be number eight, right? So from number one to number seven, I already shared them in the, in the group, in the chat, so you can check it out. So send participants oh, away, feeling happy recruit. about their recruit experience. The right hand. So you can check your, your what yeah, you wrote right. and what is the real information, right? Right, people for you. Oh. Okay, so we have the eight uh, steps. This is just from a website, right? This, uh, somebody thought that this could be some of the most important ones. Okay, so we're good. Um, wrote instead of rope. Okay, yeah, you were close. Just one letter. Okay, so those are some of the words that you could see in, the, in this dictation activity, and we're going to move on. Okay, to the next step. If you want to get 
Sorry, if you want to get more information about this, where I got this information from, I'm going to share the, the source. So you can read it later. Um, this is from a company. So they have those tips and they give information about it. So um, for example, with the objectives they mentioned, right? You need to ask yourself some questions, right? About your objectives, about the purpose. <clears throat> what do i need to know why do i need to know it and what do i want to achieve from my group or my groups and uh so definition okay what is a focus group it needs to be remembered first firstly it needs to be remembered that focus groups are based on opinions based on opinions and not behavioral insights they are useful to for discovering how people feel about a particular topic product or service. Focus groups can also help to generate ideas or improvements for new product products or features or characteristics, right? That's a synonym of features. So that's a focus group, okay? Now let's see how much you remember. What is a focus group based on what I just read? What is a focus group? What is the purpose of a focus group? Diana? Oh, focus group is a group of people that are discussing about a particular topic, service, and they they say how, do, how they feel about the product. Hmm. So uh, it's a group to express an opinion, right? About a product, a service, a business, a topic, etc. Okay, excellent. Uh, I will go on with more information, okay? Uh, remember that focus groups can also help to generate ideas because probably you present something and they tell you, I think that if you change this, it will be better. I think that if you add something else, it will be more uh, interesting, more attractive. So they can also give you ideas, right? A group of six or more people are required to gather in a neutral or to get together, right? In a neutral location to discuss their opinions and feelings on predetermined topic led by a moderator. So there is one person moderating, controlling everything, right? To help discover their motivations and preferences. Focus groups aim uh, at discussion rather than individual responses and produce qualitative data. So the focus group is not express an opinion individually, but it's more, let's discuss. Okay, let's have a discussion about the product, about the service, about the topic. So uh, usually it's six or more people to have a, 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 a focus group. Now, uh, we're going to go on with the presentation and I'm going to share with you what I'm talking about. Okay, right there. So it, with this topic or this class, you will be able to run or, or to a basic plan, right? For a focus group uh, to test a product. Right now we're going to focus on a product. But before that, I'm going to check who is present at the moment and who is not. Okay, let's begin with Ana Beatriz. Yes, teacher. Okay, Mariela Figueroa. I'm here. Blanca Navarro. Brenda Sáenz. Diana Reyes. Present. Diego Gamero. I'm here. 
Flor Ramirez. Francisco Villacorta. Present teacher. Fredis Cortez. I'm here teacher. Laura Renderos. Present teacher. Jackie Morales. Present. Harvin Guevara. Present teacher. Jennifer Sanchez. I think she had some, she had work to do so she couldn't join us. So we continue with Juan Jose Avalos. I'm here. Gustavo Asensio. I'm here you, but I'm working teacher. Yeah, I get it, don't worry. Uh, Miguel Angel Centeno. I'm here teacher. Fabio Ayala. Rolando Quintanilla. Rolando. Yanari uh, Cortez. Roxana Najarro. Present teacher. And Elizabeth Berrios. Okay, perfect. Nice, Elizabeth. So, uh, that's the objective, right? That you are able to organize a basic plan to run a focus group to test a product. So, I told you, you're going to become experts. But first, you are going to go to the breakout rooms to discuss these two, well, three questions. Um, let's see. I'm going to choose Juan Jose. Can you please read the questions that in the exercise number one? Is there a way to predict if, to predict if your product will be accepted by the cons consumer? By the Would consumer? You like to be uh -huh. But the consumer, will you, uh, would you like to be a product tester? Have you heard about the term focus group? Okay, so those are the three questions. Thank you so much, Juan Jose. So is there a way to predict if your product will be accepted by the consumer? Yes, no, which way? Would you like to be a product tester? Like, hey, we have a new cell phone. Would you like to test it? Yes, I would love to. Uh, have you heard about the term focus group? Now that I gave you some information, you will have more, more things to say about it. So I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms quickly. You are going to discuss the three questions. Okay, only that. That's what you're going to do right now. Only discuss the questions in exercise number one. Okay, later we're going to come back and practice the conversation between two colleagues. So for the breakout rooms, you are going to be in small groups. Okay, so right now we have... 20. Okay, so I'm going to create the breakout rooms so everybody can give an opinion about the three questions. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, one, two, and three. Very good. Uh, we continue with this group. I'm not sure if Rolando is able to speak, but we will check. Okay, here we go. For this discussion, you will have exactly five minutes maximum to discuss the three questions, okay? I think that the first one and the second one, uh, it's going to be uh, a little bit newer for you because the question number three, it's going to be easier to answer. So accept the invitation, please express an opinion and take turns, right? Answering the questions one by one. Good, so everybody's joining the breakout rooms now. Um, okay, Rolando. Laura.
I'm waiting. <laughs> what? I'm waiting in this moment. Waiting for whom? For Anna, because she is busy just for one minute. Oh, and okay, here, okay. Wait. There you. she is. Sorry. She's back. Yeah. She is here. Yeah. Okay. Is there a way to predict if your Can you see it now? Yes, I see. Yes, right now, yes. Okay. 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 Is there any way to predict if your Okay. First question, is there a way to... Okay, uh, we have to continue ask or answering. No, yes, the first question, or I have to answer the second one. Oh, you can answer the second one. Would you like to be the uh, product tester? Okay, in my personal opinion, yes, I would like to be a product tester because I think that it will be very interesting. Um, you, you can have a lot of uh, good experience or bad experience too, but I think that it will, uh, it will be very interesting for me. Yeah. And I know if you want to participate. Uh, that's maybe, yes. maybe, uh, sorry, Anna Beatriz, maybe, no for, for example, uh, maybe the, the people make the, the comparison mm -hmm. to, for example, from America, um, um, Atl Atl Atlantida Bank, mm -hmm. who is the best? America, of course. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only, bank, it's the only mm -hmm. bank that gets service all days during the year. Yeah. Yeah. We, we yeah. have a different I, schedule for get service for by customers. Yes, I, I like the, the, the Bank of America. However, uh, I do not know uh, why the Bank of America do not work the Sundays. Yeah, it's Bank open. Amer Bank of America work on it, Sundays. Uh, there are some agencies like, Sunday. yeah. In, in San Salvador. In San no. Salvador. No, but I, I, in, in other, uh, in other banks and of Bank of America, uh, it's open on Sundays, but it's in the principal, um, principal. In the main areas. Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh -huh. However, in Zacatecoluca, it's closed. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. No. Will be as. Customers. Consumers. Mm. Okay. For me, I think is 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 true. Uh, for example, uh, we create uh, different products and uh, we plan if we will plan if um, teacher, how do you say planificar, planification or? Plan. Just plan. Plan, we plan. Okay. yeah. We, okay, we will plan. Uh, with the products. Uh, well, uh, What's your idea? Focus group, it, it means something like, well, I, I, I say the example that can be, the, um, for example, if you want to make a product to children's, to mm -hmm. to baby care, I think, you have to choose a target that you're going to sell the product. So your focus group is going to be parents, right? Yeah. And they can be the tester of the product because it's a baby care and a baby doesn't <laughs> give you the opinion. 
uh, other less their, pa they, their parents have to give the opinion about the product. Okay, that's my idea for focus group, I think. <laughs> because I never heard about that term. True. Okay, that's that's a good opinion. Now we're going to go back to the main session. Okay. Time is up. Yes, it's time to practice yeah. the conversation. Okay, okay. Aha, uh -huh. I got you, Diana. I know what you did last summer. You went to the beach. Yes, what happened, they did it. I seen that movie. <laughs> I think I just started watching the movie, but I didn't finish it. I'm not into, I'm not a fan, a big fan of um, uh, scary <laughs> movies. Me neither. Mm -hmm. I love scary movies, but if art of ghost, I don't like the movies that have so much killers or something like that. I hate that kind of movie. Mm -hmm. Exactly, me too. Well, there's a funny scary movie, the comedy scary movie. Oh yeah, <laughs> scary movie. That's something else. That's crazy. Okay, so we're going to uh, share some opinions, okay? The first question is, is there a way to predict um, if your product will be accepted by the consumer? Do you think there is a way to predict that? I'm not sure if, it's, if there's a way. How can you tell or how can you guess if people are going to like your product? Maybe there is not a, sorry. No, lady first. <laughs> Maybe first. there's oh. not a way to be 100% sure that, that a product is going to work, but you can make some test testing for uh, be close. Mm -hmm. Okay, could be, could be. Definitely, um, a little tested, a little test. Okay, um, Francisco, what do you want uh, to say? Yeah, uh, for example, we talk about with, with the last mate, Janari mm -hmm. from- And Beatriz, right? Ana Beatriz, yes. Mm -hmm. That, uh, for example, uh, we have to have two, two reasons if your product is good or it's bad. Maybe your product uh, can be to recognize it. Recognized. Recommend uh, for good product. However, maybe can be to recognize it for, for bad product. For example, a, any person maybe can to recommend the, the, the cell phone mango. Can recommend the mango uh, cell phone. The mango cell phone, yes, it's uh -huh. a brand. Okay. Uh, however, uh, uh, the most common is that people recommend to buy the, cell, uh, the Samsung cell phone or Apple cell phone. True, it's, true. It's to reason, a, a good reason, a bad reason. Okay, so uh, I agree with that. It's there, the, yeah, there might be some ways obviously to do it, but it's not so easy, right? Uh, but one of the best ways to do it, as we know now, in the, is by having a focus group. So if you, for example, Let's suppose that you have your product and it's a new pupusa, right? So you want to try the, 
shrimp, I mean, every seafood pupusa. So every like fish pupusa, you want to try shrimp pupusas, octopus pupusas, like any kind of seafood in a pupusa, right? And you are like, okay, that's my idea because I live in La Libertad and, and people might like this new, uh, this new type of pupusa, right? So what can you do to make sure that people will like it? You can contact some friends, some family members, right? Some relatives, hey, I'm going to make some special pupusas uh, this weekend. Can you stop over my place and try them out? So then you give them the pupusas and you ask them, okay, give me your honest opinion. Do you like them? Do you think that one of them is good or one of them is not good? So with a focus group, right, you can have an external opinion. And because sometimes we have an opinion and that and we think that something is good, but somebody from the outside can come and tell you, mm, I don't think that's a good idea. OK, so. Um, because people in the suburb are very traditional and they don't like to try new pupusas. So, I don't think it's a good idea. Now, um, that's just the first question, right? Is there a way to predict? Yes, you can create a focus group. You can ask people to help you give an opinion, right? Would you like to be a product tester? Uh, I heard some people saying yes. Can anybody share that answer? Would you like to be a product like tester? A yes, no, and why? I would like to be a tester. Why, Freddy's? You can get free samples. I would like to. You get free samples. Okay, Blanca, you would like to? I would like to be a test a tester because, um, well, the depends of the product because I, I will tell you to my partner that I want to be a tester of video games or ah. a tester of movies because there are some people that have to watch the movie before other people to qualificate i think that it's to the rate, word to rate to rate uh -huh. to rate the the movie. the movie and if if it wanna be a success in the country mm -hmm. so that's that will be a, a good tester kind i think okay yeah i think about video games a lot of people would love to be a video game tester right um Francisco, you raise your hand. Yes. Uh, Ana Beatriz is a good, good question. What happens if you like to, to do testing with the medicine in the, in the development? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> um, okay, testing the new Salvadorian vaccine for the coronavirus. Yes. Mm -hmm. um i'm not sure if i would like to be a tester in that case but yes, yes. but yes i i get it it depends on the product right it depends on the product if it is food for example i think a lot of people like our coffee right hey would you like to be a coffee taster i'm a volunteer oh, i'm a volunteer of i would like to be a tester yeah so um, it would be a nice experience. I think that, as Freddie said, maybe you get some free samples, right? Uh, or you get a good experience. You can have fun and try something new. Uh, so yes, I agree with you. I would also I would also like to be a product tester. And then the last one: Have you heard about the term focus group? Before I explain you, before I gave you the information about uh, focus group. Had you heard about it before? Yes or no? In which context? I think Juan Jose wants to say something about that. Juan Jose, do you have any experience on focus groups? Yes, yes but in another context. In which context? In the in the academic area, uh -huh. um, for example, the focus group, there are some group for uh, some student mm -hmm. and we need to know about the uh, to better the education or do you know about the about the, the teacher and the, uh, the, the quality of teacher, Yeah. for example, and and 
the the student are in a in a space uh, and behind there are a mirror and and there are some people that that listen that they are um, talking about ah. but the student don't know the student don't know don't know okay. uh, it, it's a different focus group yeah interesting i've never i've never seen that i never experienced that but it will be really nice okay excellent thank you for sharing so uh yeah focus groups there are different types of focus groups that's for sure okay depending on the context depending on the product depending on the service the company etc 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 there are some that are more focused on the psychological aspect right so they are evaluating behavior there are some focus groups that are evaluating a product something uh, that doesn't have to do with people it has to do with the product uh, itself. Now, we have a conversation here, and after that, we have I have something special. Okay, so with the conversation, we are going to read uh, about two colleagues who are getting ready to organize and run a focus group study. Okay, run a focus group study. So we have Moises and Fernanda. Okay, just as I am reading the Right now, just listen and um, pay attention, right, to the pronunciation of some words. Write down the words that are new for you or the words that you think can be a little bit difficult to pronounce. So you write them down and later you can ask me the questions, okay? So first practice. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups? Sure, Moises. We will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with targeted or random samples? Will we work with targeted or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. Um, any questions about the vocabulary or pronunciation? Can you share the conversation? Oh, my God. Yeah, because I... I... We, well, I we thought that I, I was I thought that I was sharing it. Sorry, thank you for telling yeah. me. Okay. <laughs> so um, that's the conversation. Okay, I am going to read it one more time, but this time I will do it a little bit faster. Okay, so you already familiarize yourself with the pronunciation. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the for the focus groups? Sure, Moises, we'll have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with targeted or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be, monitor who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You're right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. So what are the words uh, that are new for you or the words that you would like me to put more emphasis or pronounce again? Furthermore, okay. Um, you can point out, remember that you can use the annotations, right? Uh, you can point out to the words or phrases that you want explanation or pronunciation of, or the meaning. Um, so for, furthermore is the, the formal, uh, let's say, um, linking or transition word to say more over, more over, or when you, to say besides, uh, so furthermore, then we have in addition. Yeah, in addition, that's the other one. And uh, Diana was pointing out or highlighting the word questionnaire, underlining the word questionnaire. 
questionnaire. Questionnaire, okay. Furthermore, in addition, another one. I will point out this one here. It's a very important word in the conversation. Samples, samples, okay. Samples. Um, Teacher, hello. Accurate. Accurate. Oh, okay. Accurate. 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 Okay, very good. Another one. Monitoring. Monitoring. Okay, monitoring. Uh, yeah, monitoring. That's okay. Just like that. Uh, let me just check something here. With target, targeted, targeted, yes, targeted. That's correct. Um, yeah, perfect. We're good. So I'm going to point out or highlight those words that you just mentioned right now. So accurate, that's an excellent question because that word is confusing for some people. They usually say accurate but it's not accurate, it's accurate. It's like chocolate. A lot of people think that it's chocolate, but it's not chocolate, it's chocolate. Okay, chocolate. So um, you can even connect it, call it and say clet, right, chocolate. So, um, or certificate. Some people say certificate, but it's not certificate, it's certificate. It, it, right, certificate. So we have accurate, chocolate, and certificate, right? Now, um, what is another word that people usually confuse? Mm, determine. They say uh, determine, but it's determine. Okay, let's go on with the, with the practice. So right now I am going to, uh, oh, I'm going to mention something else. Uh, progress, okay. Don't say progress, right? So in this case, it's progress. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups? And then um, at least, at least, right? Uh, targeted, as Diego was asking, targeted or random. So what is the difference between targeted and random? When you say targeted, is focus on something random like targeted you you make a decision okay i'm going to uh offer coffee but i know that brenda francisco roxana and miguel love coffee so i'm going to offer the coffee to them because i so that's a targeted okay that's a targeted uh selection and random it's like you don't choose, it's uh, like, mm, I'm going to choose number, and then you say like one, two, three, four, five, number seven, okay? Uh, or you use a roulette, okay, to select the, it's like the bingo, right? You don't know what number you're going to get because it's random selection. So it's al azar, as we know. Uh, Okay, and that's it. I think overall, overall, that's another word that maybe you need to pronounce well, overall. Uh, and well-designed, well-designed with the D at the end. Require, okay, sometimes people have problems with this word because they think that it's require or require, require but no, it's require, require. So those are the words that you're going to practice. You are going to be in purse in the breakout rooms, okay? So practice as many times as possible in the four minutes that you will have, okay? Um, let me close this, open the breakout rooms. How many people we have connected right now? 20, so that's great. Okay, let me check. One, two, yes, we're good. One, two, we're good. One, two here, one, two there. 
So I just need to move one person. Yeah, exactly. To the breaker room number eight. Okay, so we're ready. Four minutes to practice conversation. Pay a lot of attention to the pronunciation, right? As I said before, influence it. That's important. Not only, not only to have good pronunciation of the words, but also to have fluency. That means that you try to speak as natural and as spontaneous as possible, okay? So a good flow in your, in your speech. Here we go, four minutes, beginning now. Accept the invitation. See vous play. Okay, one, two. Yes, everybody's having one partner. Okay, here we go. Hello. Hello. Janari, are you there? Who who speak with me? I will yeah, I will practice with you. Okay, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, um, you will do I you share or I share the presentation? I think I, I'll do it. I have the uh, printing the presentation. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So mm -hmm. we can yeah. practice together. Perfect. Okay. So you start. Okay, teacher. Oh, yeah, Moises and Fernanda. So I'm going to say Moises first. Have you made any progress with? the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, uh, Janari. We will have three okay. groups of at least 24 okay. participants to collect accurate results. Have you made any progress with the selection? What? I'm sorry, teacher, I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay, uh, you want me to start? No, yes, I, I'm sorry, I'm Moises. Yeah, so I answer, I answer. Sure, uh, Janari, we will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect accurate results. Will we work with targets or, or random, targeted or random samples? In addition, in addition, we need to dis discuss who will be more monitoring each monitoring. group monitoring each group and the location of each. Of each. You're right, each. because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We'll go for a random sample. Furthermore, furthermore, right? Yeah, furthermore. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the, in the afternoon, so we work on it. We work on it, work on it. We work, work on, on it. Work on it, very good. It. So it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire. Questionnaire. Mm -hmm. Questionnaire. 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 Nair. Nair. Questionnaire, that's correct. Okay. okay. And we require. Er, require. require require that's right now i am going to start the conversation and you continue have you made okay. any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups sure sure, sure emilio <laughs> we will we will have uh, three groups of at least 24 participants to collect a current accurate a current. accurate accurate results will we work with targeted or random samples in addition we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each 
you're right because we want to find out the the overall perception of the product we will go for a random sample furthermore it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require i'll meet lucas today in the afternoon so we work on it we, we work on it we work okay. on it yeah there yeah, you yeah yeah excellent yeah, teacher, thank you you're welcome. Do you have any questions about the words? Uh, well, uh, so furthermore, I, I have the question. I have, uh, I, I think it's more uh, difficult. And, furthermore. Uh -huh. uh -huh. For, furthermore. And questionnaire. 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 Yeah, yeah. It, it, because the, the words is, are news and I think is is a new book. Hello. Can you hear me, did you? Yes. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. No, I, I, I say the and and the words uh, are new uh for the vocabulary and we have to need our i have to need more practice about about the this this word mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or that word mm -hmm. okay there you go yeah it's about it's a matter of practice it's a matter of practice yeah, or, repeti yeah, yeah. or repetition right repetition so it's necessary mm -hmm. to pronounce the words what uh three five times probably and then try to yeah, yeah. try to use it in a sentence, right? In 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 the context. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And 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 the fluency when I we we have to you need some words for the only sounds I have to is my to sounds. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That takes a lot of practice because for me that was a little bit difficult at the beginning, but mm -hmm. with consistency I did it, and it's possible to do it. Okay. Yeah, Thank being perseverant. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. <laughs> Hola. Hello, hello. Hola, hola. Hello. Laura's son. <laughs> <laughs> Daughter. His daughter. Yes. Who has a son? I always forget confused. There's someone who has a baby son, but you have a baby daughter. I hello, have hello. Ah, Yanari, right? You have both. Okay, so we're going to go on. Um, I just want to make a clarification. Yes, I have a son. You have a son, okay. So I just want to make a clarification about the the words um i was double checking because uh, i remember that questionnaire that was the, the word but um i had doubt about that one because it's, it's not a, a real english word it's i think it's french so they got it from that language and uh the stress the stress goes in the in the last syllable so it's questionnaire right questionnaire so the pronunciation is okay but the stress goes at the end questionnaire the rest uh targeted uh, all the words that we practice I, I i was practicing with janari because she was alone that's the reason why i i didn't uh <laughs> listen to the, to the to the breakout rooms i didn't enter the breakout rooms but let me know did you have any inconveniences or any problems to practice anybody Nope. Okay, so we have a no, do we have we do we have a volunteer? Jackie. Oh, thank you so much, Jackie. Appreciate it. So the first volunteer is Jackie, and the second volunteer thank is you. you're welcome. It's my pleasure. And the second volunteer is Jennifer. So Jennifer and Jackie, JJ. I'm going to share the screen with you quickly. So Jackie, you start and Jennifer, you continue. You can use your own names, okay? Okay, teacher. Go ahead. And um, it says, have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus groups? 
your Jackie, we will have two groups of at least 24 participants that collect accurate results to collect accurate results. 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 There you go. Jackie? Okay, uh, will we work with targeted or random samples? In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. The location of each. Yeah. All right, because we want to find out the overall perception of the product, we will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon. So we work on it. So we work on it. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, ladies. So as you can see, when you make the link sounds, your, your flow, your fluency is better, right? Because it sounds more natural. For example, if you say, uh, location, of each if you do it like that it sounds like like it's in chunks right in chunks in trocitos so uh but if you say location of each the location of each right or the, in this case the location of each, so it, it's it's it sounds like non-stop right non-stop like smooth right smooth criminal like michael jackson sound so the it next one like butter like a criminal on the cover okay so that sounds like a it's song a, it, uh, it's a song of BT, from bts okay a song by bts got it thank you blanca now we continue with the next two volunteers there were they were uh, beatrice and i think it was francisco but not Don Francisco, right? Yes. Just Francisco. Yes, yeah. You didn't raise your hand? Yes. Okay. I'm yes. not sure if, if that was a, a yes or a, I don't know, but yes. Okay, so Beatriz, you no, start no, the conversation. No. <laughs> or, okay. And Francisco no, continues. Have you made any progress with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure. Moises, we will have three groups of at least 24 participants to collect a current result. We will work with a targeted and random samples. In addition, we need to discuss who will be monitoring each group and the location of each. You are right, because we, we want to find out the overall perception of the product share the screen wait a second i'm going to share it right now because i kind of stopped that here okay and i'm not sure if you can see it now because yes i can see yes it. yes i can yes see. okay perfect uh, you're right because we want to find all the overall perception of the product we will go for a rumble sample. Furthermore, furthermore, it's necessary to create a well-designed questionnaire to get the specific information we, we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work on it. So we work on it. Okay. Furthermore, right? Furthermore. 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 Yeah. Bananas. Banana. That's all right. Thank you so much, uh, Beatriz and Francisco. Uh, I think there were there were two or three volunteers more, but I don't know who they were. Nope. Okay. They disappeared, teacher. They disappeared. Oh, Juan Jose. Yeah, Juan Jose was one of the volunteers, and Miguel. So Juan Jose and Miguel, we finished with you two. So. Juan Jose, you can start the conversation and Miguel will go on. Okay. Okay. Um, had you made any problems with the sample selection for the focus group? Sure, Juan. 
we will have three groups or at least 24 participants to collect a cure result. We work with uh, targeted or random samples. In addition, we need to discuss so we'll be monitoring each of group and location and the location of each. Of each. You are right. You are right because we want to find out the overall perception of the product. We will go for a random sample. Furthermore, it's necessary to create a well designed questionnaire to get to the specific information we require. I'll meet Lucas today in the afternoon, so we work it on, on it. We work on it. There we go. Okay, so we work on it. Now we're going to move on. And yes, you're right. In this case, there are many words that are interesting. Probably some of them are new for you, and that's really important. However, however, there's something else that we're doing before we go to the final activity. And that is, uh-oh, what's that? It's a little bee. What is the bee doing there? Well, something that has to do with reading and writing is the spelling bee. So what are we doing? Simple, I'm just going to give you a little taste of the spelling bee but you are going to uh get ready for next wednesday okay so as wednesday is reading i mean writing and reading we are going to have a little list okay with the words that we have learned throughout the the two weeks and you will get ready for next wednesday when we have a little competition okay so <clears throat> so let's go on I'm going to ask each of you one word, okay? And you have to spell it. Diana, you're the first volunteer. Thank you. Spell the word brainstorming. B R A I N S T O R M I N G. N? N G. G. That's correct. Good. Class for her. Next volunteer, Roxana. Thank you. The word for you is purchase. P U R C H E. I don't remember how it uh, write, write. How to write it. Yeah, that's why spelling bee is important because it's used for uh, remembering how to spell the words. So it's really important. So P U R C H A S E. Okay, nice try. Thank you, Roxana. We continue okay. with the next volunteer, Juan Jose. Excellent. I love when my students volunteer. So, Juan Jose, the word for you is business. Business. Uh, B U um, S W do, 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 um, <laughs> um, uh, the G, I don't remember. Um, uh, but B U is. It, Door white? Mm -hmm. No, door white. Is um, I S. Okay, you were close, but that wasn't right. It's B U S I N E S S. Double S, right? Excellent. Thank you so much. Class for him. We'll continue with the next volunteer. Jackie, thank you so much. Jackie, the word for you is analysis. A N A L Y S I S. Thumbs up. Yes. There you go. Next one, Janari. The word for you is marketing. M A R K E. T-I-N-G. That's right, marketing. Excellent. Next volunteer is Beatriz. 
How do you spell the word prototype? Uh, P product. Prototype. Prototype. Prototipo. Prototype. Yes. P R O T I. No. P R O T O T I P E. Okay, T Y P E. Okay, excellent. Just one letter. Blanca. Yes. How do you spell yeah, yeah. how do you spell BTS? No, I'm just kidding. How do you spell oh my god? How do you, BTS. No, how do you spell uh, opportunities? Opportunities. Mm. O P A uh, Opportunities in plural, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, it's O P P O R T U N I T I E S, I think. Yes, there you go, Francisco. Don't forget to use the reactions for your classroom, right? We're trying. I got you unexpectedly, uh, I mean, by surprise, right? You didn't expect this. So, uh, Francisco, the word for you is weakness. Witness? Witness. Mm. No. W. No. Uh -huh. W E E N S. That was close, but no, it's W E A K N E S S. Right? Double S. Next one is Harbin. Okay. How do you spell the word competitor? C O M E E T I T O R T I T O R. There you go. That's right. Excellent. Next one is Mariela. Mariela, maybe she cannot hear me. So we continue with the next volunteer. That is Diego. Tell me. Okay, Diego, the word for you is launch. Launch is L-U-N-C-H. Okay, but in this case is L A U N C H, right? Launch the lanzar, not launch the. Ah, oh, <laughs> okay, sorry. there you go. No launch. problem. You, you got sorry. it. Okay, oh. Miguel Angel, the word for you is product line. Product line. Yeah. Okay. Um, P R O D D U C T L I N E. Yes, product line. That's correct. Next one, it's Jennifer. Okay, teacher. The word for you is disadvantage. D E S D um I, let me, I don't remember. Okay, how do you spell advantage? Uh, A, D, D, uh, E, A, M, J, E. G, E. That was really, really close. A, D, V, A, N, T, A, G, E. Advantage. Okay, thank you so much. Who's missing? Who did I skip? No one? Nobody going to tell you. <laughs> Nobody's going to tell me, right? Teacher, I'm missing. Okay. So guys, that was the mini, the tiny, the yeah, tiny spelling bee. So uh I'm going to share with you the, the list of words. Okay, I'm going to include some words from today's class so that you can study and we will have the spelling bee competition on Wednesday. So how is the competition going to be? Simple. 
every person is going to be asked, every person is going to be asked two words. I'm going to ask you two words. And you, if, if you spell the two words correctly, you get the points. And then at the end, we're going to see the finalists and the final is going to be with some extra vocabulary. So we're going to have fun, okay? It's not for the competition, it's just to practice and enjoy, right? The competition. So we're going to uh, check who's here and who's not quickly. Um, before I forget, I need you to, as you already have the conversation, we practice that and after the conversation uh, to finish with the exercises, what I need you to do uh, is just to answer these three questions, okay? Answer these three questions about the conversation, okay? In your notebook, you answer and tomorrow we check the answers, simple. So I'm going to, this is exercise number three. Page number 21. If you want to take a look at some uh, product development and testing, I strongly recommend you to read the first link about Adidas. And the second link is uh, product development at Trivago, how they, do, how they did it. So you can take a look at that. It's really interesting, especially if you like traveling. <laughs> so I strongly recommend you that one. Now let's check. Beatriz, are you there? Here. Yes, Mariela. We we'll continue with I'm Blanca. Here. Excellent. I am here. Ah, I'm didn't, here. Can you give you a word? Okay, Diana. I'm here. Diego. I'm here. Floor. Francisco. Present. Freddy's. I'm here. Freddy's. I didn't give you a word for the spelling, right? No, right? Ha, huh. Freddy's. You're you not going to get, you're not get, going to get away with that. Freddy's. How do you how do you spell the word strength? We lost Freddy's. Okay. No, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, okay. So <laughs> how do you spell the word strength? microphone uh, okay okay strength strength s-t-r-e strength and g-t-h yes that's correct i always struggle that word because i don't remember if it is g-h-t or g-t-h i get stuck with that sometimes yes that's correct thank you so we continue with laura Laura lost connection, I think. So we continue with the next one. Jackie? Laura no está. Laura no está. Present. <laughs> what is the <fuck>? Arvin? <laughs> Present teacher. Uh, Jennifer? Present teacher. JJ? Uh, we yes, continue sir. with Gustavo? Uh, Miguel? I'm here, teacher. Janari? I'm here, teacher. Is Janari or Janari? Janari. Janari, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Roxana? <laughs> <laughs> Present teacher. Okay, perfect. And we have Elizabeth. So, guys, uh, thank you so much for uh, joining me tonight. I hope that you learned something new that you enjoyed and have fun with your classmates. Thank you, teacher. You're very yes. welcome. It's my pleasure. And I'm glad to see you every Thank class. You, have an amazing you, night. Uh, just, I just need to confirm about who's staying. Uh, I'm not sure if it will be Harbin or someone else. Harbin or, or Laura left, so it. Harbin, you can? Yes, I can. Okay, yes. perfect. So good everybody, night. we didn't take the picture, but we'll take it tomorrow, okay? So have a good night.
Okay. Yeah, good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Good night. Thank you. Thank you. you guys. Have a good you. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. That's right. Okay. Mr. Guevara. Okay, teacher. How's it going? Everything is fine today. I'm glad to know that. What about you? Everything's great. I can't complain. Okay. It's been a, it's been it's a good, good day. It's good to hear that. Yes. It's good to hear that. So, Harvin, um, do you have any any comments, any doubts, any questions about what we have been studying about the language in general? Uh, I, I would like to know what is the best way is about the topic or the practice that we have today. Uh, today, I know that I am so too bad reading and I would like to improve. But before I tried to read a book in English, but I stopped because I don't know the meaning about a lot of words. So I would like to start to read, but not uh, a book. And I would like to know what is the best way, how can I improve that? The reading. Yes. Well, actually with the website that I gave you today, that is a really good uh, way to improve because uh, you can evaluate, uh, I mean, yourself, you can uh, check how you're doing. And uh, it's something uh, really easy to do because you have the questions, the options, you have the reading next to it, and you can get a lot of words. The English is not technical, it's academic. I so, think. I think the principal problem is that the pronunciation for several words are mm -hmm. different that we read, we write in. Oh, yeah. If that is the case, yes. Uh, the words are different. So in this case, what I would recommend you is that you practice with uh, audiobooks or videos with subtitles. So that can help you to see the word, try to uh, internalize it, right, or memorize it, and uh, at the same time, you are listening to it. So it's like you are getting double uh, input through your eyes and through your ears. So uh, an audiobook can be an option. Videos with subtitles can be another one. Uh, and uh, if you have some lead, if you can share with me, I could be I will say thank you. Okay. Uh, to say that expression, you can say, if you have some links to share with me, I, I would appreciate it. I would appreciate it. Okay. I would, okay, I would appreciate it. That's right. So um, I don't, but I can look for them. Um, I can look for some of them. Um, For example, learn English through history can be one. I will share that. I'm not sure if sharing it through the chat. I think I better share it in through the WhatsApp. I will I will do that. I will share it with you through the WhatsApp because uh, if I share it through the chat, it will disappear when we finish the call. Yes. Okay, so uh, besides that, what other uh, issue or topic are you? I, I have another question in the same topic. For example, when we are reading and you don't know what is the meaning about some words, what do you think is better? 
uh, try to understand what the sentence says or translate the specific word. Sometimes it's difficult because the, you translate the words and the meaning that the translate gives us is different than the meaning of the, the sentences. That's true. Uh, if, if you try to, to do it like that, like literal translation, uh, that can affect the understanding. So I, I would recommend you to try to get the meaning from the context and later get the word, okay? Get the translation of the word, but use a reliable dictionary, okay? Uh, not necessarily Google Translate because that would be, sometimes it's not accurate, it's not correct. So, um, but yeah, I would say that the first option is that you try to understand from the context and then you can look for the words. So when people are reading, it is recommended that they don't stop in every new word. Because if you do it like that, first of all, you are not being uh, fluent because you are stopping in every reading. And I think, in every I think word that you don't is, know, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is what's my problem when I start to read a, a book in English because I stop and look the, the meaning of the word. Uh -huh, and I, exactly. I was a little bit confused on, on that. Yeah, that happens. So for that reason, I'm telling you, right, that the first thing is that try, try to uh, avoid doing that. And uh, what you can do if it is a book like in, in paper that you have, you um, like paper base, right? You can highlight, right, with a, the, or with a pencil, you can underline the words that you don't know. So you continue reading, okay? But you are pointing out the words that are new for you. Um, and when you finish the page, for example, or when you finish reading the whole paragraph that has the idea, you can look it up. Okay. If not, if not, what you can do is just to write down the word in your in a notebook, a vocabulary notebook, and then you look look for that. Uh, I, start, I start to do that because before I always read the, 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 the words that I didn't know what, what is the meaning in the same book that I study. But always I don't study because it's in the same notebook. And right now I start to, to do in another list, in okay. another notebook. Yeah, so whenever you want to remember what the word is, you go to that notebook. So you have all the words there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then and the the other the other way that I would uh, probably recommend you is to watch real uh, life uh, videos or or contents. For example, uh, I, I used to watch uh, TED Talks. TED Talks. I don't know if you've heard about that. No. TED Talks are uh, people who are experts in different areas or who know a lot about different areas. They are invited to an event where they talk for some minutes, like 10 minutes, 15 oh. minutes, or 20 minutes about the topic uh, in front of an audience. So uh, there are many, many topics. Uh, I will share the link in the, in the group too. So the TED Talks are like little speeches, okay? And they have translations okay. in different languages. You can go to the website of TED, TEDx. Um, so they have this educational purpose, right? Okay. I'm sharing that. Okay, so uh,
Okay, I already sent them over there. And um, what else? Uh, I don't know if you downloaded the dictionary that I shared in the in the group a long time ago. Really, no. No. Okay, because that dictionary uh, has, I mean, you can use it even if you don't have internet connection. So, oh, okay. uh, mm, I will look it up and share the link one more time because uh, that can help you to write at the moment, right? When, you're, when you see the word, you look it up and you play the bottom. I mean, you click on the on the bottom play and you listen to the pronunciation automatically. So that can can help you to clarify your doubts really quickly, and then you go on. Okay. So. Okay. Um, and well, when I find it, I will I will share it with you. Okay, teacher. And um, about the topics that we have been studying, or the vocabulary that we have been discussing or practicing? Any doubts? No, everything is okay. Everything is okay. Perfect. Yes. So um, I guess that's... Yeah, I got the link now. I'm going to send it again. Yeah, I got it now. So you can check it in the in the group. And if you have any other doubt, even if it is not these extra minutes or during the class or before the class, you can uh, send me a message, right? Like, um, or ask me for, for help in something. Okay, okay. Sure. I will try to answer as soon as possible. Okay. Okay, Harvin, it was nice to see you, man. Thank you for staying and I will see you tomorrow, God willing. Thank you, teacher. It was a pleasure to speak with you. It was my pleasure, man. I I like that, to hear that you're getting more fluency now. That's really good. Okay, thank you. Okay, see okay. you, man. Take care. Have a good night. Have a good night, you too. Bye. Bye-bye.